Adelaide. We're not in Ballarat. Realise this is a bit of the fault of these race vlogs. That is the, the premise of those vlogs, isn't it? Like, it's the race footage, it's what's going on. Like, you don't get to know what's happening before and after about that. So, I really want to make today just a little bit of a recap as to what's been going on. And I think also, you guys might be a little bit interested in the race itself. Like, again, as part of those race vlogs, that doesn't necessarily come across. So, I reckon we should have a quick chat just about the race and kind of like what it was like for the club Hubbard people to be you know in a race like that which is ridiculously cool right so we're in Adelaide kind of dipping our toe really in the family TUDU thing I'm not gonna completely lie to you like the guys are gonna be here for a couple of days and then the team guys will be down and I'll be riding a lot more so it's not like a fully fledged family TDU but it's gonna be somewhat fledged family TDU so with that in mind and intros out of the way very excited about this. Where are they? It's not that long ago, this was uh, a team car. It kind of still is a team car. Where are we headed, troops? Good feedback. It's the quietest they've been all day. C24 front and a C40 rear. That was basically by accident, not by design. I was gonna run two C24s, but the C24 rear actually flattered and ended up really not trusting that tire. The bike weighed in just above 6.8 kilos. That was with the bike camera. Crucial little bit for me is I'm now gonna be able to run bike cameras all year long. My bike is literally on target weight, which is kind of cool. And yeah, look, since then, I've been trying to chill out, trying to really recover from a couple of these injuries and take it easy. A bit like him. So as far as the race goes, from my perspective, guys, it was kind of pretty much what I expected. Okay, a little bit of numbers chat. So what I found really quite interesting is the whole climb was rarely very hard. What tended to happen is it would surge normally towards the top of the top part. And like, for example, my heart rate in the first two laps maxed out. And I kind of knew at the time that I'd be paying for that a bit later on. The other interesting thing was, and I, riding with the pros was like, it was irrelevant. Like you didn't even notice they were there as much because you're just riding a bike race. But what was interesting is, like, for example, if I was badly positioned, like, right, right at the back, and I can remember thinking about this at the time, you're right at the back, you're thinking, oh, gotta move up, gotta move up. But then next minute you see, like, you know, Miles Scotts and Richie Port next to you at the back, and you're like, well, these dudes are at the back, maybe I'll just stay here. But of course, they're just at the back because, you know, if a, wheel is dropped or you know something happens it's no issue for them they just bridge it they're all happy they're just waiting for all the action to take place in the last hour whereas for me bad positioning is bad positioning and i pay for it every stretch of the way it's not the top it's not the top robbie i have a friend okay i'm gonna finish the race chat with a bit of controversial chat richie port will never win nationals <laughs> because of what they've just done to the course. That section now that they've added through the uni, it's a borderline crit. So it doesn't matter how much damage he's gonna do up the climb. Those driver guys like Edmondson, who else has won it recently? Garen's. Scottson. Garen's not so much, but, oh, Durbo. Yeah, like that kind of guy. That's who's gonna win that race from now on. Look, I know why they put that bit of the uni in. Is it good for the race? That's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Insert emoji here. That's actually amazing. They'll track 
Yeah, truck guys. 10 points for guessing where we are. Guys, I haven't spoken at all about the Shimano group set. Like it just ended up on my bike one day and that was it, we never talked about it. And look, certainly don't consider this a full review, I'll definitely do one, but I just wanted to mention one thing that I noticed. Like I was saying in the preview guys, the climb is very much two parts. There were quite a few occasions where you were small ring and then that real surge would happen towards the crest of the two bits and you'd be big ring. So really what you were doing is you were shifting under load in a pretty intense race situation and correct me if I'm wrong but that's kind of like that's why we have electronic gears did it mean I lasted any longer no the point is that's the selling of these items and I have to say it about it okay the obvious thing is the injury and the legs and the knees and all that kind of stuff yeah I didn't sort of do myself any dramatic damage Dan sort of sent on the stuff that like a burst sort of stuff so look it's just gonna mean a couple more weeks of, of taking it easy just got to monitor it now because this could easily turn into like something chronic it's actually like one of the one of the, the things that's come out of this vlog as it's kind of gone along is it's kind of highlighted I suppose that level of racing that you don't really see it doesn't get written in newspapers it doesn't really end up on SBS half the time um, and so from that perspective I thought what was kind of cool and this happens every year but like there's a few guys that, that characters that you've probably spotted throughout the year different teams and individuals and stuff who have just had storming matches right Guys like Riley Fair, oh, Riley, and Troy Herfrost. Troy! It's that kind of ride that oh, I wouldn't say I'm jealous of it, but it's like, yeah, that that from me I think would tick the Nationals box, and I'm way off that. But having said that, like seeing guys like that produce rides, and I know that you know you see that kind of ride, and they and you go, oh, geez, I had a good ride on that day heap of preparation went into that and commitment and sacrifice um and I, I, I want to do that <laughs> full vlog coming on keeping matt bikes clean but for now while traveling this is your man literally Okay, we're up to date. Thank you for sticking with all my national spamming there. I reckon we've covered that sufficiently. We're going to move on. It's tour down under from now on. We're down in Adelaide really all the way through till the end of the tour. We will be doing rides. Specifically, we're definitely going to ride up to the Barossa, but no, it won't be up on the day that the tour goes up. There's a reason for that. Stay tuned for it. Keep an eye on the Facebook page, Instagram stuff. Instagram stuff even and we'll get some details up there. Apart from that, if you're not here, join along, just watching this, because it'll basically just be tour and riding and stuff. Oh, and we have a giant wedge here now back here. See you later in a week. Until we finish our food. We were meant to go to the crit this evening. Turns out nothing is open in Adelaide and therefore we had to bail. So <coughs> this vlog was gonna finish with some race footage of the crit. That's not gonna happen. The closing shot of today's vlog will be I'm not going. Kiri eating a cookie for dinner.